Cheerleaders have now become an accepted integral part of the Indian Premier League. Despite the initial reservation that they couldn't fit into the Indian culture scene, they are now on thousands of TV screens, vociferously applauding every four and six in India's own festival. Despite them getting tons of airtime, there's very little known about the girls behind the skimpy costumes and the heavy makeup. With the help of a cheerleader spilling the beans, we got to know some very interesting details about what it is like to be a cheerleader in the IPL. They get ogled at a lot. They are called out all kinds of cuss words and adjectives no one would wish to be addressed with. All they can helplessly do is give it a deaf ear and move on. They are not allowed to interact with the cricketers and none of the cricketers apparently hit on them. These cheerleaders are roped into the game via agents under whom they are assigned as background dancers for various Bollywood movies, item numbers, etc. They are subjected to racism. Their agents pocket their money and make them stay in one or no star hotels. It's after a lot of persuasion and bickering that they are given cockroach and termite free rooms. They laugh at the state of the bathrooms they are given even to change and rest. While the players devour bottles above bottles to keep their energy up, these pretty women are offered nothing and yet expected to pop up the spirit and keep the bright smile on and dance to the beats every five minutes. Appreciation for work is nothing they have ever known of. So that's what it's like for a woman who light up the spirit at the stadiums during the much-celebrated IPL deals with.